So one of the main reasons I started building this app was to help me batch plan my content. Historically, I've always planned, filmed, edited, posted one video at a time, and then just like restarted that process as soon as I finish. But I've always felt like that put me in a position where I wasn't able to get ahead. So today the plan is to start designing a way for me to do that directly in my app. Right now on my homepage, I have these cards for each series. When I click on one, I'd really like to be able to see all of the different video ideas for that series. I'm just gonna start prompting Claude and see what I can come up with. By the way, if you don't know, my name is Ricky. I'm building a content planning app and sharing all of my lessons learned along the way here in this vlog. I want to make a new view for when I click the series cards. This view will have the thumbnail for the series up at the top and a title to heading size. Underneath for the view itself, I would like to create a list view with cards that look just like the tab accessory, tab bottom accessory we created before. Use the layout and the information inside as inspiration. I would also like to be able to differentiate between which episodes or video ideas have been hosted and which ones are currently being drafted. Lastly, I need to be able to neatly see how I can organize every post format for this platform. Right now, I am specifically focused on YouTube. So please only include YouTube specific platforms and organize them. Well, that should do it. Let's see how that goes. But first I ran into some errors, I basically just took the errors from Xcode and fed them back into cursor. And now we're all set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deploy it to my phone and see how it looks. So I got this new series detail view and I'm gonna deploy it to my phone. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to actually load on the phone when it's connected via Wi-Fi. You can see I don't have it like connected actually to my um, thing. Let's click into the prototyping to see how it looks. All right, it's blank, sick. It, sometimes it just loads very slowly though. Hold on, let me get out of it. Damn, that's crazy. Nothing happened. All right. Oh, f oh crap, okay, hold on, check it out. Actually, that looks kind of nice. So we got the thumbnail here, we got the title. This isn't a title too, but I'm not actually mad about it. It looks decent. And, and we have like all the filtering here for everything and all the video ideas. That's cool, okay, hold on. Posted the drafts all the YouTube formats we have here, and they're clickable, so they actually do filter it out already, which is sweet. Nice, dude. I wanna make sure that if I click into one of these and I've already selected a title and thumbnail, that's represented in these video ideas. So I realize it's actually not a loading thing. It's just the first time I click it, it won't show up but if i click it again it's here um, but i like that it has like a whole icon system here that matches up so i do want to keep that i just have to figure out where i would want to put it the other thing is that i'd really like to be able to like reorder these in an order of like when i plan on posting them I did add this button here at the top right to initiate that title and thumbnail sequence um, but i actually don't think i want that there i'd really just like to play with it here I also need a way to add a video to this list. So a lot of little things I gotta think about. All right, let's deploy. It is. All right, do it again, shows up. Let's see, all right, all right, so I just like shoved it here in the corner. I'll allow it for a second. Uh, also, I have these marquee titles for when they're kind of long, which is helpful technically, but I think for this view, because I have so many of these, I'm gonna just keep it static. I'm not gonna let it do that. So that's one thing I'm gonna tell it. And then this should open up the, nice, okay. Right now the title is not going in to, actually it is. Oh, nice, dude. Thanks, Claude. Awesome. Okay, let's go videos only for a second just so I can see what that looks like. Cool, 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 cool. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually ask it to move that icon into this description next to where it says like YouTube video. I'm gonna make it smaller. That way it gives the thumbnail a little bit more room. And then and these guys still aren't reorderable. So let me figure that out. Can you please move the draft 
and publish icons next to the format of the post, meaning it would sit right next to video or live. Could you disable the marquee animation from happening in the cards? And could you do some research on how to make a list view item reorderable? And I'm actually gonna do some research myself. Reorder items in a list view in Swift UI. Reordering items in a Swift UI list can be achieved by using the on move perform modifier. So I got the cards back and it looks a lot better with that icon down at the bottom. You can see like the published version. It literally has the icon there and then it says published. That, that's really nice. What I did was I asked it to allow me to long press one of the items and have them reorder as I drag them along the list. I was able to get it to like ghost do it one time. There it is. Yeah, so like I can move it around but it doesn't actually have an effect in the list. Nothing is moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it an example of just like a basic drag and drop list from the internet and see if it can refactor it. But I wanna add the option to display a scheduled date. So the day I created it, the day I scheduled it, and then the day I posted it would all be an option in each of the cards. And I think that should be pretty comprehensive. All right, so I'm still not having much luck with the reordering. So I might have to do that another time. I need to do a little bit more research. I am having good luck with is adding in that scheduled version. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit cramped here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is make it draggable so that it can go off the screen and kind of extend in that way. And then I'm gonna actually reorder. So I want it to say all drafts scheduled and then posted because what I'm gonna be working on for the most part is my drafts. And it's nice to see what posts have been scheduled. And then of course, like which ones have been posted over time. So I wanna prioritize that order, not only here, but in the list view itself. And then I'm not in love with the way that this is being displayed right now. Don't know if I need scheduled here. I'll think about it, but I'm gonna make some adjustments right now. All right, so I've got it updated and now I can drag to see all of the filters and they're not cramped. Um, I actually might go and change the all to be the last option and keep drafts there because drafts is what I'm gonna work on the most. But I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow because I got some client work that I gotta get into. But I'm pretty happy with how far I've gotten just today alone. Um, just to give you one last view of it. We got the title, we got the thumbnail, a little short description of the series that I'm working on, all the different filters, some icons to show how many of each just as a quick indicator. I actually think this might be a little bit redundant to have inside of those switches, but I might get rid of those. And then we have the actual cards themselves. And when I click in, it's going to take me to a title and thumbnail generator and it generates some titles for me. I can start playing around with what I think I want that to be. So that was pretty awesome considering all I did was maybe four or five different prompts I hope showing the behind the scenes of this process was helpful for you. This is kind of like a different type of format than the videos I've done previously. So let me know if you liked it. Yeah, I'm happy with the progress. That's all for today. Please feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. You know, send me a DM on Instagram or X or down here in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. If you do happen to be more interested in how I use AI to design my app, I have another video where I go a lot more in depth on all the little tips and tricks that I think through when I use it. So that should be popping up here in a second too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.